All right, so up first is one of our very first students, Kelly Garrett. She's someone who had an agency before she uh, got started with Bot Academy, so she had a lot of experience selling digital services to clients. She joined Bot Academy because she was interested in chatbots and understanding what they were, um, and this was back before there was even a Bot Academy. She just saw that I was in the space, that I invested in a couple of companies in it, and she was just like me, curious about it and wanted to learn and do well in it. Kelly, good to have you on here. Thank you. Excited to be here. Why don't we start with the first big important question, which is how did you get your very first chatbot client? Um, so I actually just followed the template that you gave us in the course, like a cold email template. I sent it to a woman that is a well-known, she's a multimillionaire coach in Australia. She coaches women entrepreneurs and I had purchased a course of hers. So I just took your template and modified it a little bit and cold emailed her and her team. And they wrote back in a few hours and asked for a phone call. And you had any connection with her before? No, just that I purchased her. That was product. it. Yeah. Never talked to her, never interacted. That's it. Nope. And did you mention that you were a customer of hers? I did. Ah, uh, Okay. How many uh, messages or people did you reach out to before her? Two or three, maybe. I, I had sent like five or 10 emails all at the same time with the same template. I just changed some of the verbiage in it to personalize it to each person that I sent it to. And so I only sent off a batch of five or 10 to say, okay, let's see what happens with these. And then hers came back a couple hours later. Wow. Do you remember any of the changes that you made to the template? Um, I tried to put some type of personal um, connection in the beginning. So, you know, I would look at their Facebook pages and see what they posted about recently. If there was anything we had in common, I'd mentioned that, um, you know, with her, I posted that I was one of her students. I had purchased her program and it just really tried to compliment them or tell them I enjoyed what they were teaching, that sort of thing. So being personal, letting them know you've got some kind of connection with them. And then did you sell or try to sell right away in that first email? Yes and no. Okay. I invited them to a call right mm -hmm. away. Um, I just, I said, you know, this is something that's really starting to take off and I'm really excited about bots and I've been working with, you know, you and people that are really excited about doing bots and, um, I just wanted to hop on the phone to, with them to see if they were interested in learning how they could make it part of their strategy and, you know, just brainstorm a little bit. Ah, so from the start, there was an indication, this is going to be something that I could do for you for your business, but it wasn't a hard sell. Right. And how much did you sell the chatbot for? The, that one was $5,000. $5,000 for, set <laughs> for setting up a chatbot. Yes. So that included set up a couple growth tools like a main sequence for her free gift and then a Facebook ad campaign. So it wasn't a ton, but. So no wonder when you heard us talk about selling chatbots for a thousand, two thousand dollars you said, do you remember what you said? Yeah. I was like, no way. That's way too cheap. <laughs> you tried to, you tried to get me to do a couple for that. And I said, Nope, can't do it. I understand if you're <laughs> getting the very first one for 5,000. Yep. Did you feel at all? Like my clients can figure this software out for themselves. Why would they pay me to do this? A little bit. Um, there were times when I felt that because mm -hmm. I would get on a few calls and people were saying, oh, I've played with the software and I think we're just going to do it in house for now. So I did have, you know, some moments of uh, inside my head, like thinking, oh, shoot, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to provide any more value than they can. But I got over that quickly and just realized that it's not a chat bot that we're selling. And I say this all the time in the group, we're selling a transformation and value, like we're adding extra value to it. So that's what we have to focus on. What do you mean by transformation? A result, you're selling a result. So, you know, whatever their goal is, if they want to get more sales, you are going to have to show that you can provide them more sales. You know, it's hard because everybody wants to show ROI on their marketing. And that's, that's really difficult when, um, when you're using things like social media and lead generation types of things, because you can't always give an exact ROI. This is how much I spent on this bot and this is how many sales I'm going to get. You have to think about bots as a tool to eventually get the sales. So it's, 
it's the, that's the value that you're providing is, is not necessarily a tangible, a bot that's going to set up and bring you X number of sales, but a tool that's going to improve your strategy. You know, a few days ago, Russell Brunson um, flew me and my family out to do an event with him. And he and his team were talking about how he did $3.2 million in sales from the stage at an event. And I was trying to figure out how he did it. And I realized I don't have to figure it out. It's probably online. So I go to YouTube and I find the video of him on stage at this event. I say, okay, now I'm going to see what he's going to do. And I didn't even watch it all the way through before I understood some of what he did. One of the very first things he did was he said, I am going to sell you on something that costs, I forget the number, but it was like $11,821. He was really specific about it. And he said, that seems like a lot to a lot of you. But if I can show you how that will generate $100,000, won't you have an easy time saying yes to me? What if I can show you how that will generate a million dollars for you? Will you feel comfortable there? And of course, the audience whooped and hollered and they said yes. And I understood some of his psychology. He was saying, look, I've got this software. It's called ClickFunnels that will help you increase your sales. You don't necessarily want to pay me, but what you do want is this result. And if you're going to pay me less than the result, it'd be worth your time. So that's essentially what you're doing too. You're not selling the software. You're saying, I can help get sales for you. After you sold, how did you feel? Nervous. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, how am I going to deliver on this now? Um, and, you know, I really, I was elated because I, can, I couldn't believe how easy it was to sell this particular one. But I think, I mean, I think it just proved how much value I was able to show her and her team um, because they, it was really an easy decision for them. And it was something that they, they knew about and they wanted to get into messenger bots. So that was a little bit easier that I didn't have to sell them on the concept of a bot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was nerve wracking and exciting at the same time. And then it, I imagine that once you sell one, it gives you the confidence to say, this makes sense. I now can go and sell to other people. Absolutely. Yep. And then I just refined my package offering and my systems to sell and it just got easier. So we asked you before we started, what advice would you give the people who are listening to us? You know that this is the number one thing that people ask us about. Help us get more clients. Help me figure out what to do. What advice would you give someone who's listening to us like Kyle and Derek? And let me see who else is there. Julia, Ibrahim, way more people than I could mention here. What, what advice would you give them about uh, getting clients? Um, and I can't remember what I put on that form. But Go with anything that feels right now. Yeah, it's probably something um, along the line, like, don't give up. Persistence is the key because yeah. for every, you know, you're going to get so many no's before you get a yes. And I know I always hear people say, you know, get excited about the no's because that's just getting you closer and closer to a yes. And so that's, that's it really is just not giving up when you feel like, um, you know, you're, you're getting no's and you're feeling disappointed. I think we always forget about tapping into our own network of people that there's, there's people all around you that need your services. So just keep going and you'll eventually get there. Yeah. It's uh, it really is so easy when somebody says no to think, all right, I got validation. This does not work. This is not smart. My inner chatter was, was right. I shouldn't be doing this, but you persisted, you kept on going, you've been building a, not just a good business based on chatbots, but a reputation for yourself. You've gotten speaking opportunities because of this. You've built up uh, your, your reputation also in the blog, in the podcast world. What's the name of your podcast? Marketing Futurist. Marketing Futurist. For anyone who's into chatbots, it's a really good place for you to get exposed to the people who are in this space and to just frankly, just get jazzed about this by seeing the possibilities. And for anyone who wants to connect with you, what's your website? Uh, etc.com. I'll post it in the comments. Cool. All right. How's it spelled actually for anyone who's listening to this and not oh, watching? Sure. E-K-C-E-T-E-R-A.com. Cool. Thank you, Kelly. And for everyone who's listening to us, in addition to reaching out to her on her website, you're going to be able to see her at events. You're going to be able to see her online. And when you do, just uh, give her a thumbs up or say hi. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Andrew.